Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Okay, two of swords, four of wands, cutting the deck. All right. You could have to make some kind of decision right now about um, something dealing with your family, your foundation. For some of you, it could be a connection. It's a union, all right? Some of you are feeling stuck, stagnant, maybe a little bit confused um, about kind of going into union with yourself. I feel like right now as we, you know, are moving into fall, a lot of people are already starting the lovers. It's definitely here some type of choice, though, about your divine path and possibly um, connections. It doesn't have to be romantic, but there are decisions that have to be made about connections in your life the three of wands is here so there's growth there's um expansion that's happening you're planning for the long term you're waiting on your ships to come in um so if you're waiting on your ships to come in then that means that most likely you've already planted some type of seed all right you're about to receive i feel rewards and recognition for something that you've done in the past all right five of swords oh okay so you could be feeling like in the past you made a choice that wasn't so great or somebody around you did. The five of pentacles just tried to jump out, but it didn't. But I did just see the five of pentacles. It nearly jumped out. So the five of swords, the five of pentacles, some of you, either you or someone that is around you or in your energy or environment has made some kind of unwise choice in the past. Um, it could have affected their finances, their overall security, stability, their health, whatever the case may be. Um, but I feel like if this is you or someone else, the message today is you need to try to look at this situation differently. Okay. You have the Empress here. Something did not work out because it just wasn't meant to work out. But obviously there was a lesson here. There's been some type of wisdom or clarity that you've gained from dealing with a particular person or a situation. Maybe in that season of your life, you dealt with someone that didn't have the most integrity or it was a situation. It just wasn't something that was aligned with your morals and your values. But the thing about it is you learn from it. Now it's time for you to take action as this, um, the Empress, whether male or female, the Empress, that's a divine feminine energy. This is now time for you to create something. It's um, a, a fertile time. Your harvest season is here. Here's a hangman with the, uh, and it says the awakening. So there is a spiritual awakening that has taken place or is currently taking place for you, but it has um, perhaps led to you needing to take time out to kind of pause, take a step back to self-evaluate, reflect, um, assess, reassess what exactly has happened. So some of you with this five of swords, definitely you, you could be thinking a lot about a situation from your past, it, feel, it seems, or you're dealing with a person that's thinking about a situation from the past. Someone could be thinking about um, a situation that has to do with an ex-lover, an ex-wife, a mother figure, some type of matriarch in the family, um, whatever this is. Six of Wands, yeah, victory, success. Like I said, rewards and recognition is coming. The Ace of Swords is here. So there's, there's a brand new beginning here. You have a lot of ideas, but you have to start seeing, being more optimistic and positive. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles is here and the Page of Cups. So the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Cups seems like somebody is a little bit... Um, kind of on shaky ground about a new beginning here it is something that is going to bring about wish fulfillment happiness it's it's obvious that something new is coming in however somebody is still a bit afraid to trust whatever this new beginning is with the page of cups somebody could be afraid to open their heart to embrace love um, somebody may be afraid that moving into a situation, they won't be satisfied with it. This is coming from this pessimistic energy. Either it's an energy that is within you or it's around you. Um, this is giving very much like almost imposter syndrome. Like, you know that you're fully capable of doing something, but in your, in the mind, you still fear, um, some of you, you fear being on a platform or in the public with the six of wands. They usually is a, a card of public recognition. You are afraid of showing up 
in the world because of something that is haunting you from the past. Something could have happened to a person in the past. This could be you or someone else, like I said, um, where you may not have been seen in the best light because of making an unwise choice to, you know, work in a certain environment or be friends with a certain group of people, hanging around a certain group of people, whatever, you know, the birds of a feather flock together. And it's like now you're shifting out of there, but it, it feels like someone is still kind of carrying yeah, the guilt and the shame of the high priestess and the ten of wands. Some of you are afraid to show people that you are a high priestess. It, it's, it's clear. It's, it's clear as day here. And the sun here. Some of you are afraid to let people know that you have spiritual or psychic gifts, that you're a high priestess, that you know things before they happen. Maybe you are a dreamer, you're a seer. You are carrying some type of guilt or shame, okay, because of something from the past, things that you've heard, things that you've been taught, maybe even things from a past life that are in your subconscious mind that you haven't really tackled just yet. You are afraid to go out and be this, this beam of light. That's what this is about. And I feel like spirit is saying, no, you have a lot of really, really great ideas, but you need to overcome this fear of being recognized for who you truly are. Yeah, the five of swords with the ten of wands. There's something that you've possibly done or you're connected to somebody. Somebody did something in the past. And you may be a little bit afraid now to go out in the public. And it may not even be something that you've done. Like I said, if it's something you've done, it could have even been, like I said, in a past life. I pick up a lot of past life energy. But for some of you, because of what you have heard about certain people or groups or whatever, based on the conditioning, it has you carrying a burden where you're working very hard. Look, the magician, the high priestess and the magician is out here. You being a powerful spiritualist, a manifester, a magician, um, a healer, a light worker, whatever this is, you're afraid to tap into it. The magician is here with the six of wands. There is something very magical, supernatural about you and the four of pentacles is here. You're holding this back. You're holding on to it. And it is actually the thing, the king of wands here that brings you um, an opportunity to be a great leader. Like I said, this could be you or someone. You and another person could be mirroring each other. It's a spiritual awakening, though. The king of wands here, this could be a masculine. This could be a masculine who's actually like, um, it, I feel like this could be a masculine or feminine. Take it however it resonates. Somebody here is going through a spiritual awakening, but because of what they've been taught about it by people who uh, were ignorant, I would say, somebody here is holding back. They, they keep juggling and it's like somebody here is not realizing that the reason why they're juggling is because they're not actually embracing who they are at a soul level. Somebody is trying very hard to force themselves into a life of um, conformity. Nine of Cups, the King of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. And the Hermit here. It's like somebody needs to go within and, and love themselves for who they truly are. I feel like a person out here has been having like downloads, dreams, or they're starting to um, catch on to angel. It's something from the spirit realm that is calling out to a person and they're trying very hard to suppress it and turn away from it. And they've probably been doing it their entire life, but it's, it's getting to a point now where like they cannot hide it. They can't deny it. Somebody is just like, there's no way they can they can deny the fact that they're seeing or hearing certain things or whatever the case is. The, the four of pentacles and the hermit. Somebody is, is possibly trying to even hide the ace of swords and the ace of cups. So this is absolutely a spiritual awakening. And the page of swords, somebody, the page of swords is, you know, digging for information. Somebody is hearing or they're seeing or, or they just know certain things. Look. Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Wise Council. Somebody eventually is going to, um, with all of this juggling, somebody needs to start researching something. Somebody could be researching things about um, earth magic, planting, gardening, herbs. Um, but the, the, the Seven of Pentacles here is seeds being planted. It's like 
somebody needs to go ahead and research something because there's a person out here who is destined to be a person of who who has wise counsel. Now you have the wise counsel, which is the um the hierophant out here and the high priestess. So, like I said, for some, there is a couple out here. They may not even be together right now, but energetically, two people are connecting and they're both going through a spiritual awakening. Somebody out here may be religious and someone is spiritual. There are different things that you can take both from your spiritual practices and your religious practices to come together to be light workers. And I feel like right now it's like somebody is out here and they are like shying away from something. There's an integration that's happening. So you can be very spiritual, but there's things that even a religious person could teach you that could broaden and help your practices. But there's also a very like religious people who don't understand that there are things about spirituality, about shadow work and healing that can actually help them to be much closer to God as well. There's an integration that has to happen here. But this is two people who are carrying guilt and shame about whatever their thoughts or beliefs are in some kind of way based on what they've been taught and programmed to believe. And they're not truly opening their hearts up to it. But I do feel that somebody here is becoming more energetically um, sensitive. Exactly. And emotionally, too. Here's the King of Cups falling right here on the page of Cups. Somebody's these cups is not just about love for me for the last few months because so many people have been going through an awakening the cups are representing um spiritual gifts and development the the page of cups is going from the king of cups so uh, once again this could for sure be a masculine who is re like um becoming more aware of a, a spiritual gift their heart is opening. They're connecting more like that bridge, the heart chakra, which is going to bridge between earthly and spiritual realm. Somebody now, their heart is starting to open so they could be receiving some kind of spiritual or psychic downloads. Here you have an awakening. Yeah, somebody is awakening. And this, this feels like a masculine. But this masculine in the past, They've done things that wasn't so great, and now they're going through a spiritual awakening, and they will be moving on a peaceful, calmer waters. It, it seems like this person, I don't really think that like God is giving this person much of an option other than to now take a risk, a leap of faith, and to move forward. That's the fool card. And here's the eight of cups. This person, wow, the eight of cups. Somebody here has to move on, and here's the empress and the three of cups. The strength. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah. There's a divine feminine somewhere who is resting and retreating, who is probably already into their own spiritual practices, whether that's just prayer, it's meditation, um, spiritual baths. You could be a plant mom, dad, whatever the case is. There is a, a counterpart that's coming in who is getting onto their journey is what I'm getting. This person is being forced, though, to walk away from some type of guilt or shame. OK, somebody also could be um, kind of reluctant to go towards a person who may be in that energy of a high priestess or a hierophant because of a community of people around them who have taught them that, oh, you know, you should stay away from this type of person. Whoever this individual is that's going through this awakening, they they can't really hold back from this energy because it feels like it's a part of their 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 destiny whoever this high priestess is is forcing a, a spiritual awakening their presence alone is causing someone to start to heal to release in the four of swords the four of swords is somebody here is receiving psychic downloads as they rest as they retreat while they sleep while they dream so there's an ending that's happening here it's an ending of a mindset Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Something is about to grow. And the Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. It's reciprocity. As these two people come together, or if it's not even two people, if this is just you within yourself, realizing, like balancing your feminine and your masculine energy. Some of you, just like me, you could be both religious and spiritual. Okay. Um, as you are integrating both of these things, what is the, the Six of Pentacles is going to grow into the Ten of Pentacles. As you allow yourself to receive all good things, no matter where it comes from, you know, God speaks to us in so many different ways. 
Um, God may speak to you through the birds. He may speak to you through a burning bush, whatever the case may be. As you start to allow yourself to receive these different messages, however they come to you, it's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, this could be just you or for some of you, it does, it involves another person. Yeah, the Five of Cups is here. Somebody has to stop focusing on the negative, though. The Five of Cups with the Eight of Cups. It's time to walk away from something here. Somebody, like I said, could have issues with like an ex-lover. Um, the Empress is here. Somebody could have had issues um, after divorcing someone. This could be an ex-wife, ex-husband. Somebody could have like a mother wound issues with a parental figure, mom or dad, whatever the case is. And somebody now is, is needing to stop focusing on that. Stop focusing on how things didn't work out. I really feel that this is a masculine who could have gone through a divorce or could be a widow. And they are very still very um, focused on the possibility of something going wrong. But there's a divine feminine high priestess that's right in their face that they could be celebrating with but until they choose to release and allow this spiritual awakening to happen where they are willing to give equally then they're going to be struggling but it does look like this person is moving forward eight of cups six of swords those are all cards of movement the world yeah there's a cycle here completing so this masculine for some who has been going through um some kind of guilt or shame about the past that's what's being eclipsed out we're in eclipse wow you saw me just turn this card over i had no idea it's the emperor so this is the divine masculine who's finally closing out a cycle so if you are a divine feminine by you choosing yourself healing resting retreating continuing to focus on your own divine alignment it's going to bring this person into alignment with you Okay, or is you just simply bringing your own divine masculine into alignment, even if you are the divine feminine, because we have both divine feminine and masculine energy. The page of wands. This is an emperor that is new to this journey. They're new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this person is about to start becoming more creative, more enthusiastic. Um, there's going to be new opportunities that are going to come to this person, but th th they are still healing. Somebody is deaf. They're still healing. Somebody is, is is healing because of maybe the loss of a mother, um, the loss of a a lover, whether it was through an accident, death, um, a divorce or whatever it is. This person is still recovering. But I feel like God is saying it's time now for you to go into a new cycle. You, you have to leave this behind because there's this magic, this this power inside of this person that until they let this hurt go they're not able to fully connect the ace of cups and the ace of swords is here this is a very very clear divine channel that's opening up for this person but this heartbreak of this pain this guilt this shame or whatever is holding them back and this could be you this could be happening to you and someone else but i am picking up a masculine you could be a masculine watching even if you are a female transformation is here yeah a huge, huge life change is about to happen. Look at this. Justice, the lovers, the star, <laughs> queen of swords, the awakening, and the eight of wands. Seven of swords here and the ego. It's time. The cycle of self-sabotage has to end. For a passion, new beginning, ace of swords. So again, you have the justice is here. Someone now has to make a decision about who they are going to do life with. The star, the lovers, and the justice card. Who are you choosing to do life with? And you can no longer be focused on the past. You can't be focused on what didn't work out, why it didn't work out, or any of that. No, it's time for somebody to move forward. The Queen of Swords is here with the Awakening card and the Eight of Wands. Some of you, you could have told someone, hey, what's going on? This may be like for some of you, it's a checkpoint in a connection. You're, you're asking somebody, okay, what's going on? What are we doing next? Because for some of you, if you are in contact or communication with this person, it's time now for it to progress. And it's not progressing because they're still holding on to something or you're still holding on to something. Both of you could still be holding on to something. But there is an awakening that's taking place. A huge um, life change is about to happen here. And it's leading to the Eight of Wands. 
So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on at once. The Knight of Swords is here, though. This is somebody becoming very focused and driven. If it, it feels like somebody is really about to get some fire, like lit under their butt. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So there could be a new um, financial opportunity or something like that that's coming for somebody. Some kind of abundance, good fortune. Somebody could be purchasing a home or a car. Something like that. Queen of Wands, the release card, and the Five of Wands. But again, somebody has to release this toxic energy here of this Queen this queen of Wands energy. And that could be anybody. But this Queen of Wands, this could have been a third party. It could be somebody who was kind of, you know, dibbling or dabbling into like spell work, witchcraft for the wrong reasons. Um, this has to be released here. Four of, of pencil, the Four of Cups, yeah. Somebody has been in the background for sure, um, keeping a masculine sort of at a standstill, unable to make good choices and decisions for themselves because of just some kind of conflict or chaos that they've been sending this person. But you have here the King and the Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, yeah. It's two people who are destined to work together. And spirit is saying, listen, if you're having a difficult time with releasing this person or this situation from your past, the moon, something in your subconscious mind, possibly a, a situation from childhood or whatever, I feel like God is saying no more. Whatever is in the way, it has to be moved. The nine of wands, somebody has to come out of all of this stress, fear, paranoia, anxiety, nine of swords, ten of swords, this mental conflict, and they have to get a move on it. They, they have to. Because a person who is supposed to be very focused, abundant, self-sufficient, and abundant, they're, they're constantly falling into the five of pentacles. And it's because their negative thoughts and their fear, it's manifesting and it's becoming their actual reality. This could be you or somebody else, but the wheel is here and the balance card. Okay, so it is fated for something here to take a new a new change. And I think it's going to bring a very positive change. But the balance card, this like temperance energy, there is a balancing act that's happening. This is with as you balance yourself out, there's going to be more balance with another person in your life or a person that's coming into your life. So there are significant changes that are happening. There's a major clearing of an energy and e like an eclipse. This eclipse energy is doing what it's supposed to do. Somebody is starting to see the truth about um, just outdated beliefs, people, places, things, situations, reflecting on jobs, anger. And this could have somebody angry right now. And it's time that somebody releases, like I said, that guilt, that shame. It's natural in the stages of grief for somebody to become angry. But eventually you will get to a place of acceptance. Somebody right now could be angry about a situation from the past. Angry that it didn't work out or angry that they put so much work into it. Angry that, you know, somebody took advantage of them. Angry that they got duped again. Whatever the case is, angry that, you know, they lost money. That's why something here is slow, but it's steady. It's slow and it's steady. It takes time because for some of you right now, it's like, you're going into something brand new, but you still have to allow yourself to know like you're healing. You are still healing. So people are going to have to be patient and, 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 and give you a bit of, of grace and mercy because you're still angry about something, but your, your life can't stop because you're angry about it. It's just like now a lot of us are dealing with spiritual warfare. The, the spiritual attacks are happening, but life still carries on. You cannot sit down and let the enemy just attack you. You have to keep pressing forward. You cannot let this heartbreak or, you know, the fact that you were terminated from your job, but you were later, you cannot let this keep you stuck and stagnant. Even if you're moving slow, make sure you're keeping it steady. Some of you, if it comes down to a connection, it's going to move slow, but it's going to be steady because you and a person you may meet at a time where both of you are still healing. And there may be times where you, you do, you get angry about what happened in the past. I say that a lot lately because so many people are getting closer to union. That healthy, loving relationship that you have after years of toxicity it is by far one of your hardest relationships. Because when somebody comes in and they love you the right way, you're going to constantly be reminded of all of the wrong ways that people showed you love. And you're going to see how you allow certain things to happen 
that were not in alignment that will make you angry <laughs> it will make you angry burden yeah somebody is still carrying burdens it says here it's all good wow look death ascension and integration so something here you're being told just to trust in divine timing follow the signs there's an ending here wow and at the bottom of the deck here emotional release somebody has to release their anger from this disappointment somebody chose a person in the past and it did not go the way that they wanted i for some like i said it, it was an ending it could have been a, a an ending of a job an ending of a relationship it could have been just a lot of endings and now this emotional purge or release is coming in like it's okay that their friendship or you know their relationship ended or that oh you know now you you can't hang out with that particular family member their job ended you're gonna have to just go ahead and say okay now what's next because where you're going you can't take this anger with you this is good though i mean it's it's, a, it's uncomfortable to go through this um look at that surrender your fear of intimacy and surrender unhealthy relationships somebody out here is constantly being triggered by an energy that's around them and you're needing to surrender you need to let this go if you have a friend family member or lover around you and they're constantly triggering you you need to let it go let go of the relationships and the people who just don't serve you these unavailable or toxic people people who are are toxic they're emotionally unavailable whatever let that go because you deserve to be around people who honor you they respect you they cherish you they understand you they give you grace and mercy because as long as you hold on to these toxic unavailable people you're always going to have a fear of intimacy so you're always going to be triggered into thinking that, oh my gosh, history is going to repeat itself. You need some of you, you need to get some different people around you. Surrender, surrender to effortlessness. You should things in your life, it shouldn't have to be done by force. You should be in a state of just flowing. So surrender low self-esteem. This is this is learning. Some of you need to start doing affirmations. Learning that you deserve true love. You deserve success and abundance in your life. The things that, you know, the low self-esteem that leads you to thinking that, oh, you can accept certain things. No, you don't have to put up with anybody's mess. You, you don't have to do that. And when you finally learn that about yourself, a lot will change. Surrender to passion. Yeah, go have fun. Surrender to miracles. There's miracles that are happening in your life as this spiritual death and this ascension and awakening takes place. But some of you are going to have to um, look, surrender to inner peace, surrender to fear. This, this deck has a card in here and it's, it says surrender to your attachment to results. Some of you are very focused on the outcome and you're not allowing yourself to enjoy this slow but steady journey of realizing that there are lessons to be learned. You you don't understand that a miracle is taking place until you actually understand that like the actual journey and why you are there. It's like God is like, well, I'm going to show you that I'm truly a miracle worker, but you first are going to have to stop thinking so negatively about the journey and have appreciation for the fact that you went through this to learn something. Some of you, all of the stuff that you've been through, it is so that you can help other people to avoid it. You know, it's just like readers. A lot of us, we've gone through certain things that we can pick up in the readings and we can come here to guide the next person. Many of you, you, you're a guide, whether it's for yourself, for your friends, family, loved ones, or for a whole collective of people. But you can't continue to be mad, sad, angry about the past, about the journey that got you to where you are. And it's going to take you to where you're going. Law of attraction here and visualize success. You have to see yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. It says relationships and activities that you once enjoy are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energy. So some of you, yeah, you're not going to be able to hang around certain people anymore. 
your frequency, your vibration, it's it's changing. It's a lot of stuff that you're just not aligned with anymore. And you're going to have to accept it. So now, yeah, all of a sudden you may feel like, yeah, I can't work that job. I can't hang out with those friends. I can't hang out with that, that family member. Some of you mediumship, you're starting to pick up. I'm telling you, somebody is going through a spiritual awakening and they could possibly be um, a medium. They're starting to channel spirit. Somebody is connecting uh, like spiritually. They're receiving downloads. And I feel that somebody is, is really trying hard to act as if that's not happening. But it's getting to a point where they can't deny it. It says you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. You are profoundly clairvoyant. I'm telling you. And so now you have no choice but to cut cords to people who are going to lower your frequency and vibration to block you from this gift because it is this gift that is taking you into a brand new beginning. It is this gift that's going to lead you to your own victory and success, your promise land, whatever that is, whether it's love, um, abundance, just your own happiness, peace, whatever. You have to cut the cords. Why? Because you are an earth angel some of you are going to be choosing like i said to become vegetarian or vegan or getting into herbalism or something like that archangel Raphael is here you're this is this is a message for somebody who is a healer and i i can look base chakra solar plexus and sacral so your lower chakras need attention somebody's lower chakras are imbalanced or blocked that would mean that obviously when it comes to childhood things, um, your home life, your career, your finances, there could be issues there because of, of maybe childhood wounds. You, you have some kind of hole in the soul that's making you mad, sad, angry, and disappointed that needs to be tended to. You cannot um, really get to a, a place of awakening an ascension where you know your crown chakra is open which is where you're going to receive your downloads if your lower chakras are blocked somebody needs to cleanse and clear their chakras your lower chakras are are blocked so you may be feeling right now like you don't really have the willpower to do things the sacral chakra though um somebody here could be very very sensitive you could be with vegetarian and vegan here you may be becoming very sensitive even to like processed foods. It, like the, the things that you put on your body. For some of you, your facial products, everything. You're going to become very sensitive to these things because of this spiritual awakening that's happening. Solar plexus. That's like their willpower and determination. You need to give yourself permission to be fully in your power. And once you do that, your finances, your career, um, your family life, your home, life, everything else will start to change. Heal away addictions. So these are those behaviors of having low self-esteem or being pessimistic that lead you to thinking that the worst is always going to happen or that the past is always going to repeat itself. And now you're becoming very emotionally sensitive. So when you call around people who are negative and pessimistic, it's going to be like, oh my gosh, you're going to feel like you have to run away from them because it's like you're going to, your light is going to repel those types of energies away from you. God is saying, I need for you right now to believe that miracles do happen. So when you get around people who are argumentative, they're negative, they're dark spirited, you know, and, and some of them, they don't mean to be, they're just unhealed. And it's causing them to show up in the world in a very wicked way. You have to get away from them because the more you're around them, the more your chakras and everything else are going to be out of alignment. This is the time now the codependency has to end. And people who are codependent on you, they definitely have to go. These malignant narcissistic people, they have to go.